All right. So I guess I'm gonna start here somewhere. <coughs> I'm gonna start doing Muscovy because I like checking how Muscovy evolves every single patch as a country. I just did a Milan small game. I did a run in Japan. I did a run on uh, Papal States. So now I'm going to do one on Muscovy on patch 1.29. Alright, uh, since we're playing single player, I'm going to delete this fort. Not going to be a little girl. Get this. Ah, that's pretty good. Alright. Lithuania. Novgorod and Great Horde Advisor, uh, Disciplined Advisor. Uh, here, I think the music is a little loud. Game options, audio. Uh, I have high static, so might as well turn this up. All right. Um, so prestige, huh? Uncontested cores. That's really driving it. Alright. Yoslavo, you get a royal marriage. Perm gets a royal marriage. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Perfect. There you go. Uh, now for the mission, uh, mission's changed a little bit. Okay, invade Novgorod. I need 100% of my force limit. This is a little bit too high of a force limit. So I'm actually going to give some land to the estate. Uh, this goes to the estate. Um, and if I do this, it's going to raise by 10, so it's not going to be enough. I need more land for the estate. Uh, clergy, I can give this to clergy, I can give this, uh, yes, I need that. this is, then I need to put a merchant here. Collect from moving from Kiev because on one is more important. Um, oh god, really, you shouldn't drive your prestige way down, uh, to be honest with you guys, but I'm gonna do it. Um, so, there's actually a couple options what you can do here, um, but huh, what's my force limit? 35 still. I need to give a little bit more land away. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, and I think, do I want such a huge force limit as Russia right off the bat? Grain, so this is. 35. I need to get rid of this later on. Does it go down? No. Guess I'm just going to build it. Hmm. Oh well. Good experiment. Alright, I'm going to slowly start the game as if this is multiplayer. Alright, so Novgorod, the first, uh, first thing that I'm going to do is, with Novgorod, is I'm going to throw the uh, issue embargo. So for Novgorod, uh, sometimes they lower this fort right over here. Uh, there it is. So it's at garrison 2000 uh, right now. But in theory, later on, they should lower it. A little bit so we can actually this the rebel spawn so that was a really bad event for Novgorod um, uh, interesting that usually doesn't happen I really don't want to kill the stack so I can let them siege Novgorod pretty much 
Uh, and I'm going to do this. Let's see. National tax modifier. Nope. No. Okay. Uh, we need a level one advisor. There we go. Alright, so all these guys. Go to Moscow. Not going to take attrition. Alright, what are these alliances looking like? Manage attitude. So I'm going to do hostile. Hopefully, Novgorod will guarantee them. And then I will also set this land as interest. Yes. Did I do it correctly? Perfect. Invade Novgorod. You can do that. Alright, we're going to start improving. Insult. Scornful, I can do it. Relations. Alright, so they entered. So the Novgorodian army. Wait, did I fuck up? Yeah, I fucked up. I wasn't looking at it. Anyways, uh, that was actually a bad mistake. I'm going to pay for that. Anyways, so with this right here, I've actually haven't had this issue for a long time and they're gonna it's gonna siege down Novgorod and I guess after it sieges down Novgorod I can go for it uh, this fort doesn't go down because these rebels spawn so this is hella unfortunate but Tver did get guaranteed so I can do a reset but that's gonna take one stability because I did a royal marriage with Tver so this is absolute shit that was just me being stupid uh, anyways so what am I gonna do here I'm going to put these two armies there. Uh, actually, one army. Yeah, that was fucking stupid of me. Jesus Christ, I'm bad at this game. Alright, improve relations. Money. Um, and then I need to set my... Like that. Uh, enable, divert, trade. Enable, divert, trade. Enable, divert, trade. I'm scoff. I can probably... Ju uh, set it as a march but this is really not necessa uh, necessary uh, but they will pull more trade because of their ideas and I can improve relations with them and pull more of their trade anyways so these guys have to go and this has to go uh, Novgorod guaranteed by Novgorod great Alliance for the Rizan, so I'm going to start fabricating claim on this, and I am going to declare war pretty soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, there you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we're gonna go for Theodoro. Nice, nice. that <laughs> yeah this is really shit like uh, at least Novgorod is sieged down uh, let's split there you go uh, cavalry goes here uh, half my army goes there probably can I take half yes I can fantastic cruise control Oh, these guys are going to go siege down fucking Theodoro. How unlucky is that? They're literally going to siege down Theodoro, and I'm just going to get it in the ass. Oh, nice. Okay. So some things are lucky, some things are not. That's okay. I really don't want to engage the Novgorodian army, by the way. So, uh... <clears throat> so they're sieging down... Consolidate. Yep, 
You know, I can probably engage it, but I don't want to stack wipe this army. That's the thing. Uh, do we have a general? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, perfect. This, uh, this is pretty much over. That would have been a very, very quick... Very quick war. Very lucky with the sieges. Super lucky with the sieges. Uh, prestige, 5 prestige, 10 prestige, 2 trader. I really... I mean, it tr it's nice, but I'm gonna run this. Uh, perfect, that's, uh, that's good money being made. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, ODF fell. Interesting. Uh, I'll take this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Oh, Tver. Alright, so this is going to go to... This is going to go to Pskov. The rest are going to go to me. Okay, so they're sieging all that Patriarch admin points. So pretty much here, I'm going to let them carpet siege everything. Uh, we're just waiting for this to fall, to be honest with you. Once this falls, it should be easy. Peace out. We're going to take it. Uh, wow, well, we can't. Alright, whatever. Alright, so now the trick here is now we're going to wait till the end of the month and take this. Okay, can I wait? And then we're going to declare. Fair. Yes. What? Wait, what? What the fuck? Seriously? Ah! Okay. I declared, but then Novgorod decided is not joining. That's very strange. Huh. Unfortunate. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Denmark, Kazan. Hmm. Game freaked out a little bit. Okay, who is angry? Yaroslavl is angry. Let's do improve relations. Yeah, that sucks. I actually thought I almost had a reset right there. Uh, very unfortunate. I don't know why the uh, the thing glitched. Um. Hmm. Wow. Unlucky. All right. <clears throat> so here, uh, for for this one, uh, a lot of people actually I've seen a uh, way to take Tver because they can do missions where they. Uh, where they golden horde guarantees them um, where they do the their dev missions and stuff like that I really don't care about it I think this land it's better in Russian hands than uh, other people's hands so I guess we can wait a little bit to get a claim or resign just to reduce the coring and stuff like that but other than that it's it's okay uh, we can go for it the, the only mis real mistake here is with Tver, I'm going to take a fucking stab hit. Uh, and I'm also losing... Um, I'm also losing dip power each month. I'm just going to break the royal marriage because that was just a stupid, stupid mistake. And I'm improving... No, I'm building spy network on Tver. I don't really need it anymore. Uh, break royal ties. Yeah, this is, this is going to suck, but, you know, shit happens. My mistake. Um... Relations. Sure, I'll take that one. Um, 
Mm. So we have 26. I can do this. And then once we core some of this stuff, we'll give it, we'll state it. We're not going to state this. But the thing about not getting the reset, Jesus Christ, that was so bad, uh, to be honest with you. <sighs> really unfortunate. Uh, unrest. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, not going to deal with that. Inflation, hurrah. All right, <clears throat> so for this, we're going to state it. I mean, we're going to do that, and then we will. Uh, I really can't fill my army limit right now, so I'm going to Novgorodian. Well, first of all, I'm going to accept the culture just to make them a little bit more peaceful, and then I th I'm thinking. Do I want to state it all? No, because I will need I will need to state this, and this is already uh, part of my state, so it's going to cost more. All right, so let's do it. Okay. Uh, take car shed. Uh, yes, please. Really? Nice. And that should give me what? Yeah, Excellent. See, I'm not turning this into core, quite course, quite yet, because I'm going to state this. Perfect. Let vassals do all the dirty work. Alright, and so for this, if I remember correctly, I need to take these three provinces and let Yelets stay, or maybe leave. Yeah, let Yelets go to the gold, uh, to the Great Horde. Ah, uh, yes, and then I should give the. I actually should do this and give it to. Burgers. this 6.71 no rod Teutonic order Teutonic order and then I should Scotland Riga Teutonic order yep there we go perfect so here now I'm going to take both provinces get some cash I think they're also going to join the Novgorodian Trade League, so I can kill them if they survive. So I kill them a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I can run this guy and trade. Unlucky. Okay. Lower army maintenance. Uh, gonna... Alright, so now, what are we going to do? 
Now we are going to work on attacking uh, Kazan, most likely, uh, unless we want to do this mission right over uh, this mission right over here. Uh, tame the state steps. I need to get these provinces and actually convert them, uh, which is quite possible uh, because I can actually I think unstate this province right over here yeah and state and restate this uh, and convert it for the mission so I'll do that so I'm gonna go with Great Horde war with Great Horde they're guaranteeing the independence of Uzbek and they're also I mean they're allied with the Uzbek and Uzbek is over here but Uzbek is in a fantastic cash cow uh, so we're going to we're going to kill them as well no yeah um, I wasn't reading chat uh, but I really should I guess uh, no I'll take I'll take the gold mine and the thing is I did the reset and the war never started I really don't know why the war didn't start. So that was actually really, really weird. Uh, manpower. I, I really don't understand why the uh, the war didn't start. It's very strange. I need a second monitor. Uh, my my fiance doesn't allow me to get a second monitor. You did? Why? Oh, because of the lag? No, it's not because of the lag. You can do it in single player 100% of the time so go screw yours okay and give this land to the Cossacks so we can raise more Cossacks I think yep here we go raise more Cossacks because Cossacks are super 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 nice ah okay Rustin thank you I got it yeah see I fucked up on that uh, yeah because I also did it on the 12th so I didn't have enough time, but yes, you're absolutely right. Okay, this changes everything. So at this time, really, I don't have enough points to uh, to spawn um, to spawn Renaissance, but I really should, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. You can do it. You can do it uh, with the royal marriage thing. I probably missed it. Uh, I'm thinking about something else right now, but uh, it's Friday, and I really don't want to think about work, and I want to play a little bit of EU4, because um, you know, I haven't really done it in a while. I'm going to keep this fort for a little bit, uh, but I might actually... Uh, do I want to lower the autonomy here? No, I don't. In, or I'm not going to raise it either. Yeah, it is. I agree with you. Ally of the Crimea, no guy. Who's back? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I won't let dreams be memes. I'm gonna go for the go for it. Lower the autonomy. Bye, Rustin. Have a good one, my man. Okay. Anyways, <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go war with Great Horde, and right after I'm going to go for uh, Kazan uh, for that war, and I'm going to try to save up some uh, tr some mana to spawn Renaissance. Uh, for who? For Great Horde, I think. 
I think th they're already too small, man. Yeah, I can rival Poland. That's actually sucks. Embargo. Alright, this army is a little bit too big. ZSS. Remove. <sighs> okay, there they are. Mm hmm. Yeah, that would be that would be actually a very good move. Uh, I usually. Uh, don't do the humiliation for this. I do is centers of trade, a large city, and be present in two continents. But the humiliation war, it's a nice one. Yeah. Alright, I also need to start get this up in relations. Okay. Really? You're just gonna walk around? Mm. I guess I can. I guess I can rob some. Okay, looting's fine. I'll just loot. Uh. And here. Oh boy. Ah. All right. Actually, collapse the infantry. I don't want to pay extra for that. Nice. Very nice. Very lucky. Very lucky. Wow. They're really going ham at it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and go here. Okay, we're missing a lot of manpower. Uh, Boyars, uh, do I want to raise manpower recovery plus 20% or manpower now? I can raise 5,000. Yeah, I'll do that.
Uh, I want to take this really fast because I want to knock them out of the war, pretty much. Uh, okay, we're slowly reinforcing. I'm going to take this. Uh, here I'm going to take defensive edict. Nice. Uh, can't raise Cossacks just yet. I can raise them in 61. Um, what is this? Take churches. I'm going to start building a little churches. Because I'm going to start making money pretty soon. Like a lot of money. Uh, so I want to start building some churches. I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make money from this war right over here. Uh, wow. What? Do they have like a really good uh, siege general? Because they're progressing all the time. Super, super fast. Wow, what is this? What? How are they progressing? They're gonna take Novgrad. Knowing my fucking luck, they're gonna take it. <laughs> okay, uh, pause. I wanna do this. Uh, almost. Am I gonna risk it? Am I going to risk it? Yes, I am. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of ducats which is super super good for Muscovy early on uh, all right. so basically when you play Muscovy you want to make a lot of uh, ducats from the hordes come on wow Isn't that interesting uh oh Lucky. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start going here now. We can probably get him out of the war. Still no, but very close. Very close. There you go. Awesome. Out of the war. See, a lot of ducats. So we're going to put uh, some of these ducats to Moskva and Novgorod, and then we're going to build some churches. Take this, take that, and more reparations. I'm not, I'm not going to take any. Uh, do I want to take more? Probably not. I'm not going to take more. Just that. And then I'm going to lower maintenance. I let my manpower recover. Yeah, it is, but my, my, see the thing is like here, what you can really do, uh, and, because this is a lot of land owned by the boyars, uh, what you can do is I can really take all of this land off, uh, and give it to, um, basically not take it off, not give it to anyone, uh, just basically accept their demands, and it will be worth it for the force limit, uh, but right now, for example, Nizhny and Novgorod, uh, I really don't want to crush the rebels there. So, but yes, in theory, you're absolutely right. I should give it to uh, the boyars. I should also give Neva, by the way. Uh, but that's going to be later on. No, you're you're absolutely right about that. Uh, but for me, I'm going to cherish the prestige and the legitimacy uh, more uh, more than just this one province because I feel like at this point, I mean, yes, I can trade manpower for a, a little bit of money, but in the short run, it's really not worth it right now. So I'm not going to do it. But yeah, I'm going to let him. What is this? Uh, 
Uh, for Rennes, uh, for Genoa, uh, that's actually a good idea. Uh, I can, I guess, I can influence them. Um, yeah, I'll improve relations. But for Perm, I can. Let's clear. Let's clear this, guys. Do that. I'm gonna do a hard mode consolidation. Do that again. All right, Perm. I take this, then I need to fight no guy. Crimea Kazan. Oh, Chargadai. So I, I need to take like this too, I think, for Bashkia to be an accepted culture. Mm -hmm. 61, yeah. Alright. What's really killing me for money is this, the boyars being a little bit disloyal, but that's alright. Yes. Why, thank you. Okay, we still have money, we can probably build more churches. We'll have some money for the war, just in case we need to raise a little bit of mercs. I almost built that. Oops. See, the thing is, I really don't like uh, releasing, uh, I don't like really, oh god, they attack Great Horde. That means they're going to eat a lot of that land. That's right. I don't like releasing Kazakh, I'd just rather eat this land, to be honest with you. Cores are absolutely nice and lovely, but I don't like having Muslim, uh, Muslim vassals. Uh, it creates a lot of problems down the road later on. Uh, trade efficiency, ooh. Really? Trade? Nope. Unfortunate, but this... Wow. Unfortunate. Minus 10% trade efficiency. So, it's going to be actually really, really bad. Because the burgers... Uh, minus 20%. Minus 20, Yeah, it's going to be minus 40% overall. So, goodbye. Now we can lower this. Next tech. And now we can safely, oh, a Durjin of, I, the thing is, I actually forgot the thing here, uh, right over here, is you're supposed to sweep from Durjin the cavalry in the very beginning to the Eastern Knights, uh, as Muscovy, I really don't know, and they've always started under Durjina, uh, Durjina Cavalry, uh, for some fucking reason. Um, so you switch to Eastern, because they have shock. And now we can raise, can I actually give more land to the Cossacks? No. Uh, I actually can, right over here. Uh huh. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do here. Uh, what ideas I'm going to do? I'm going to do like standard, I guess. Uh, usually I take, uh, usually I take uh, religious and uh, economy. Uh, no, uh, quantity and religious as Muscovy, but I'm going to do a quality econ run and just see how it is like for multiplayer because that's what people do, but I don't, uh, your country becomes a little bit uh, unstable with those ideas, I think. It's really good for in the long run, but in the short term, it's uh, blah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I usually do, but that's what I usually do, so I'm gonna do something, uh, something different, uh, this time around, so.
But that, usually in multiplayer I do just that, because quantity on Muscovy, quantity is quality, uh, and I do it mostly for the for the manpower and for, oh, uh, yes, let's do that. There you go. Forgot to do that a little bit earlier, earlier. that actually generates a lot of uh, manpower, should have done that earlier on, but oh well. Alright, what am I doing here with my life? Okay. Mishar. Uh. Just unity. Ah, uh, I can do this. Uh, 35 months to convert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, clergy should help with conversion. Uh, you know, I actually need to look that up, to be honest with you. I think they changed it. Somebody argued with me. I used to suggest that. Uh, it's U4. Uh... Let's see, uh, burgers, clergy, uh, on, local missionary strength, if they have 60 to 40, uh, yeah, to 100, yeah, they still, they still have it pretty much, so I'm gonna get, and they have enough, and then I'm gonna do this. Uh, you know, I can do this. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? It's already low enough. That's okay. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Converting, converting, and then I'm going to do this because money, it's just the number. There you go. Alright, uh, Great Horde, that's, so that's going to rebel, I'm going to get my guys in position, uh, and then I'm going to go, yeah, to war against Kazan pretty much, uh, yes, this sounds like a lovely idea, uh, because it, you don't go below zero when that happens, uh, I'm going to just let those peasants be there, um, so I'm going to get my next tech, there's absolutely no need to rush, Perm, yes, and I'm going to start focusing down the first military military group. Uh, what's who's my prince? Three, 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 four. That's okay. I'll. Am I cavalry heavy? Yes, I am. I'm cavalry heavy in this army uh, because these guys are disloyal. Oh my god, Rustin, you're so good. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely right. Oh, that's why. I actually got a new rival now. Kazan. Kazan popped up again, so I can probably do this now. It's an insult. Goddamn. Thank you, Rustin. I was wondering, what if I get perm? Hmm. Comic. Shinish embargo. Perfect. Yeah, see, that suffered too much. What do I want? Ah, uh, 33. Yeah, I can do this. I can push this button. Actually, yes, I'll push this button for this. This nation, 106 ducats, not worth it. Cool. 
I took religions ideas because even if you don't uh, start filling out the ID group, religious ideas has the most positive events in the game uh, with humanists. But I really like it. religious because every few months you're guaranteed, uh, I mean every few years you're guaranteed a stab. Uh, so it's really, really nice. Like, uh, that's okay. Yes. Like that, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Split this up, split this up. So once that converts, should I or should I go for a war with Kazan now and just screw having the claims? I should probably go to, uh, to work with Kazan now. Oh no, Novgorod first. See, right now, I would be honest with you, I'm playing way, way too slow because at this point, I should have gone to war with Kazan already and, and should have... Um, should have finished the war and should start the war against Novgorod now. So usually that's how it goes, but I'm pretty, playing pretty slow right now. And I'm going to... 68. No, not yet. By the way, I can remove this edict. No edict. Theodore Rizan, yes. So for the Rizan, and then we can go to war for. Unfortunate. Uh. Oh, nice. Nice. Next guy is much better. Sweet. Hello? Mm hmm. So sure. Да. Я понял. Сделаю. Mm -hmm. Все, встань. Okay, and now Tambov is next. Every two months, perfect. Excellent. Uh, so, here is my question. Do I want to start filling out ideas, or do I want to uh, push and dev institution? Hmm. I'll save some points up. I'll save points up, I think. Let's coalition. It's okay. Mishar is accepted culture. Perfect. And that's going to give me a lot of claims on Kazan. Uh, I guess I can give that land to Novgorod later on. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh. 1464. Okay. Self-governance is going to fall off right now. Army of Army died. Really? That sucks. He didn't serve for that long. <laughs> Alright. Uh, thing with Uzbek fell You know what's str strange? Nice. Uh, you know what's really strange is that Uzbek is still uh, not a valid rival. Um, very strange. Uh... Okay. Alright, so here, uh, enable trade, enable trade, playing softly. So, things like that. I should have enabled it much sooner. Uh, and, and I think at this point, uh, transfer, no regrets. So, right now I'm making 735 ducats. 
Okay, there we go. So at some point you pretty much uh, pretty much want to move it. Armor tradition again. Should I increase it? Burgers will go down, uh, but 83 that goes to 35. And I need. I can't give them any more land, and I really can't. Like the, I can't have a uh, two estates being poopy. I guess you can say that. So really having a hard time with uh, boyars, but you know, shit like this happens. Alright, 99, no grunt, perfect. Uh, so, so for this, I will give it to Bella, Bella Zero, Bella Zero, Bella Zero, Bella Zero, and pretty much have Bella Zero uh, take majority of this land. Uh, not gonna do it. Bello Zero. Alright, so Bello Zero. Pardon me? Oh, because the only Ford isn't taken yet. Okay. Let's go there. Metropolitan. I can do this, and I can do this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this to the uh, construction cost and development cost. There you go. Oh, Theodora. Did Theodora get taken yet? Yes, it did. I'm going to ask for some money, and then I'm going to do more operations. Perfect. Slacht is much better? What? Schla what? What is Slachta? Mm -hmm. Everyone loves me. Perfect. Rustin, you confuse me, my man. And I think that's it. 94, yeah, and then take some cash. And I think at this point. Oh. Dude, who plays PLC? Come on now, let's let's be honest. Uh Do I want to take the next tech for mill tech? I do. Uh, I, I usually play single player, like I play multiplayer, and I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I should take it, but. Courage development. Uh, I'm gonna pour some points just a little bit, and then the rest. Oh no! Uh, oh no! Just a little bit. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. And now, really, if there's like a lot of uh, points, and there you have. Uh, Patriarch Authority, you could actually swip, uh, switch it to an institution embracing the cost, minus 20%, and use it. Let's let's see. Uh, cost him off. Actually, no. I, I don't want to do this just yet. I'd rather have money, to be honest with you guys. Um, so, missionary guy. I'll, I'll keep running him. Mm hmm. Okay, what's the mission? Tame the steps. Perfect. All right, look at those claims. Uh, 467, wow, next year I can actually... 
Level three advisor. Uh, yes. Five ducats. It could have been a mistake. Could have been a mistake. Well, I got institution, right? Uh, so I got, I need to control more centers of trade and I need to be present on two continents. And for two continents, I pretty much need, like, where is it? Right here. I need to, uh, no. It's, uh, I need to be, like, take this right here from no guy. To fulfill that mission. <laughs> I'm going to keep this at 57 because you have a smaller bonus uh, if it's below 60. Okay. All right. So what do we have? I can actually go to war pretty nicely right now because I have enough uh, bonuses. I have last jousting tournament and I'm the next tech, so I can definitely go to war. Um, I'll do that. There's discovery. 247, it's ticking very slow because I don't have anything. So I guess, yeah, so I guess maybe doing accumulation war would be nice and I, I should have done it perhaps earlier on, right after Novgorod. Uh, but I was going for the reset and I think a reset is more important on Novgorod than actually uh, uh, the accumulation war, to be honest with you. Nice. Alright, let's do this. Kazan. Here we go. This is going to be a bloody fucking war. Uh, get them together. And then, let's do this. Oh, nice. They build a fort right there. That's pretty good. Ottomans are up here. That is a lot. That's a lot of hordes. That's a lot of hordes. I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to do there we go roll a shock uh, and for this I will probably take my best calf Cossacks and put them in one army and I'm gonna go hunt down stacks while another army is just going to siege Wow, nice naval guy. Okay. Nice. It's locked in. I know this is in the forest, but it's still fine because the uh, B 
because the hordes get a bigger penalty if they fight in the forest than I do, so it's fine. This engagement is fine, plus I have more, uh, I have, even if it's negative 2, they have minus 25 per second shock damage, uh, and I have a better, uh, bigger front width, front width so uh, the damages are kind of negated, even though I'm fighting minus 2. Nice. Okay, so we're going to go there. And this army I'm just going to use to run after them. A little bit here and there. Uh, four generals, nice. I can slacken for 6,000. That's definitely going uh, to be beneficial. Um, I'm going to catch this army. Nice. Where's this going? Nope. Not going to catch it. I'm going to clear up this, guys. Um... What do I need to embrace, by the way? How much do I need to embrace? Hopefully I'm going to get the ducats from this war. To embrace, that'll be good. So basically just pay the ho uh, let the hordes pay for my, uh, for me embracing. Uh, stability or Diplo, right? So in this case, uh, it's kind of bad to waste two stab, but I'm plus one already. Uh, and... In my mind, uh, because I still have uh, religious picked, I'm going to get lucky. I might get lucky enough and get a stab event. So I'm just going to do that. So it's going to be okay. I'm going to chase down this army. So we're sieging there. Come on, come on, catch, catch. Yes, got one. Perfect. Really? Not a stack. Wow. Unlucky. Unfortunate. Alright, got it. Perfect. Alright, what do we have? We're also at war with no guys, so we're gonna go here and finish this siege. Uh, burgers, moyers, bur moyers. One second, guys. I got a lot of messages. Ah, boyars. Going down again. Let's see. Global trade power or monthly autonomy change? Ah, uh, global trade power. Okay, we're going to have a Novgorodian Rebellion. Uh, unfortunately, this army is really, really fast. Alright, but we're basically going to get money uh, from no guy here, and uh, we're going to piece them out. Wow, because I just seriously went back there. That's fine. I'm going to keep this army anyways. There we go. Nice. I love this. Uh, for Muscovy, so there's a one point in time where you can stack your last jousting tournament, the uh, the Pom Gesti for reforms, uh, and also uh, there is like the... There's also... Uh, if you get lucky enough, you can get more like random events. So like right now, if you look at it, I have... Um, there's one more uh, event you can get. Right now I have 20 morale as Muscovy pretty pretty much plus plus discipline from um, Icon if I really like if I gave them Novgorod right right here uh, Metropolitan I can give them um, I can give them uh, I can get I mean blah, sorry guys I'm completely melting down this has been a really long week I can pick the uh, Icon of St. Michael's for the Discipline plus 5, so you have 20, 20 morale, and this pretty much always happens. You have 20 morale and 5 discipline uh, early on, so it's pretty nice.
but uh, I'm going to do something different and I'm going to take uh, institution basement institution spread to make to make that cheaper anyways no guy I think is pretty much ready to be pieced out uh, take 240 ducats no not yet so I'm going to spread out uh, and carpet siege a little bit more there we go and after this I think he'll be ready Of war. Yep. I'm gonna slow down and just go there. There you go. They're ready. And war reparations. Perfect. There they are. And we can embrace. Uh, do I want to embrace right now? Uh, I mean, 18. Uh, I can. I guess I can get the administrative technology up. But then the thing is, I need to. I will be in need of coring land. So we'll see. I guess it's always good to embrace a little bit early if you can, but because as Russia, uh, I don't see myself really uh, having, w really waiting till for six more years to actually get Renaissance like to air or something like that. So it kind of sucks, but yeah, embracing as Russia is really hard. It takes not really hard, but it takes uh, it takes a long time to do so. So I'm just going to embrace it. 579. Nice. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's me being retarded right there, guys. I'm really out of it. Ah. Uh. So stupid. Do. All right, I can raise more horses. Uh, the thing is, if I raise too many horses, uh, right? First of all, a it's expensive, uh, but two, I already have, uh, I already have not enough infantry, really. I mean, I can run, uh, I can run more. Sometimes what I like to do is I like to, uh, like for example, uh, consolidate, consolidate. I like to delete like these these horses uh, this cavalry and spawn and spawn uh, Cossacks uh, just just my personal uh, preference uh, because they're just so much better uh, they get shock damage bonus plus 10 percent which is pretty good uh, and it really stacks with the cavalry combat ability plus as uh, plus as Russia uh, you get where is it uh, you get 10% shock damage, so you're basically, uh, Cossacks get 20% shock and 20% uh, uh, cavalry combat ability right off the bat, so it's a really, really strong. Anyways, who are we fighting still? Oh, we should take the war goal. There you go. Alright, uh, do this. This. And since we are all caught up in tech, uh, this run is going to be quality. Quality, economic, offensive, and all that stuff. Uh, consolidate. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll just consolidate it. Fuck it. I'm not going to pay for all those reinforcements. That's alright. Uh, let's see, this is salt, grain, this is a good one, it's going to go to 83, perfect, and then I'm going to collect contribution, and I'm going to build, uh, this one, Novgorod, I guess I can upgrade centers of trade later on, but, I should go to war with a Great Horde soon. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I should have switched this. I'll switch. And I can have a level 3 advisor too, which is pretty nice. So 14, I'm going to fill out this idea group really, really fast. 
Anyway, so for Gazan, what I'm taking? I'm taking this, uh, so I'm gonna give this to Perm. Oh, it's already in Perm's hands. Um, and I think for this Bashkir, I, re I need these provinces, sadly. Uh, then I'm gonna do a war against Uzbek. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do this. Crimea, can I piece them out? No, not yet, but soon. So this is still very unfortunate. Uh, uh, okay, Prestige. So Prestige is ticking up. I have two, one, three advisor, which is good. Um, collecting a lot on trade, but I should. Let's see. What can I build? Production fifty three. Wow. Well, yeah. Should definitely build that. Taxation eleven, and trade. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'll be, uh, I'll upgrade this. This will give me plus five trade power. I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong. I can't really catch what. Something doesn't seem right, to be honest with you guys. Hmm. I really don't know. Go clear this first. Yeah, Varmi, I am. I'm gonna, uh, when no guy, when no guy runs out in 1478, uh, so se seven years, I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Uh, you take, like, this, I think. Uh, yeah, you gotta take, I gotta take this, pretty much, right over here, and I'll be present on two continents, so it's gonna be okay. But I'm actually going to end the stream. Uh, I, I'm i getting a work call, so I have to be heading out pretty soon. Uh, anyways, um, overall, about this run, uh, made the big mistake for the royal uh, royal marriage from Tver. Uh, it res I didn't get the Novgorodian reset. Um, got lucky with some sieges, so, but very unlucky with the boyars. Uh, overall, I'm making 33 ducats in 1471. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, it's not good. Um, I have uh, institution accepted and spawned already, which is ki kind of nice. Uh, but I still haven't started uh, integrating perm. Um, I usually like to do this because at tech, uh, tech 8, uh, by tech 8, because you're going to get two, uh, three states and you can pretty much just state this is a really nice area and state this and state this um, yeah so not my best run but overall I think it's a pretty standard opening for Muscovy a lot of uh, for the Nov for Novgorod here usually people don't take everything and then they do the snake cutting off Sweden if it's a multiplayer which is our standard move and also taking all this land uh, which is also kind of nice, but if Poland really goes out here, uh, Poland's going to fall behind in uh, tech, is going to fall behind in idea groups and stuff like that, and as Muscovy, you can go smash smash if uh, Poland takes this from you, at least in multiplayer, uh, because they'll just simply be behind in tech and it's going to be very expensive wars, and Lithuania is going to uh, take a couple loans 
Um, but usually in multiplayer, I'll, just like Hoken in our game, is doing you want to have a good diplomacy with Poland, you want to have a good diplomacy with Sweden, and you really want to focus down on expanding uh, across Siberia and to Asia, because that's really where most of your money comes from. Yeah, of course, this is all nice, this is part of your like culture group, this is part of your religion, but fighting a lot of those wars, wars is kind of not worth it, Plus, if you're not friendly with, Pol like, if you kill Poland, uh, either Prussia expands, or, like, Austria expands, or, like, Hungary expands, and then Ottomans doesn't feel threatened. And it's usually better just to have Poland there nice and alive, and as Russia, you just expand. So I guess next session, I'm going to, when I do stream, I'm not really sure when, it, I don't think it's going to be this weekend, uh, probably next week, I'm going to go on, and I'm going to test the uh, the quality quantity, uh, the quality econ uh, uh, offensive opening as Russia and how to do it best because usually I prefer I prefer prefer uh, I prefer quantity religious quantity trade uh, which gives you a really nice start and it gives you a really stable country uh, as Muscovy um, but we'll see what happens anyways guys thank you very much for watching hopefully you enjoyed uh, thank you for your tips and stuff like that uh oh, lord kylas so anyways guys pleasure thank you and i will be